The Story of the Woodcutter Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a strong and healthy man named Jack. He didn't have a job and was struggling with poverty. Determined to find work that could make use of his strength, he searched everywhere in the village, asking locals and checking different businesses. After exploring various job opportunities, he finally heard about an opening at a nearby timber merchant. Excited, Jack decided to clean himself up and make a good impression. He wore the best clothes he had. Upon meeting the merchant, Jack smiled and approached him, extending his arm for a handshake. Hello, sir. My name is Jack. It's nice to meet you. The merchant shook Jack's hand, noticing Jack's strong grip, and said, Hello, Jack. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Barry, the timber merchant. How can I help? he questioned. I am after a job and heard that there is an opening right here? Jack inquired. Barry replied, Yes, you heard correctly. Would you like to apply? Yes, sir, Jack answered. Barry escorted Jack inside to a seating area and invited him to sit. Please, take a seat. They discussed various aspects of the job. So, do you have any experience in chopping down trees? Barry asked. No, but I am in good health and shape, and I am a quick learner. If given the opportunity, you will not be disappointed, sir. Impressed by Jack's physique and enthusiasm, Barry decided to offer him the job without asking further questions. Overjoyed, Jack humbly accepted the job offer, negotiating a good deal for pay and working conditions. He was determined to do his best to impress his new boss. The job is quite simple, Barry, the merchant, explained. You will go out to the woods, find trees, and chop them down. Once chopped, you will then need to bring the logs back here. Jack carefully listened and nodded his head. Barry gave Jack a sharp axe and took him to a nearby forest where he was supposed to start work. Jack chose a random tree and began chopping it. He swung his axe at the bottom of the tree trunk, carving out a triangular-shaped bark. With each swing, he removed more and more bark until the weight of the tree caused it to fall to the opposite side. He then tied a rope around the large log, securing the other side to himself, and dragged it back to the timber merchant. Jack worked from early mornings at sunrise until sunset in the evening. The end of his workday was marked by the sun going down, as it became impossible to see anything in the darkness. As the sun set, Jack asked his boss, How did I do on my first day? His boss counted the logs Jack had brought. On his first day, Jack the woodcutter brought back sixteen logs. Congratulations, the boss said. I am very impressed with what you have achieved on your first day. Keep it up. Motivated by the boss's words, Jack tried harder the next day but he could only bring back 14 logs. On the third day, he worked even harder, managing to bring back only 11 logs. Day after day, he brought back fewer and fewer logs. Feeling disappointed and confused, Jack thought, I must be getting old and losing my strength. Genuinely curious and fearful of losing his only job, he went to his boss and explained that he is working harder each day but is somehow bringing in fewer logs each day. He sincerely apologised and said, I don't understand what is going on. The boss, already aware of the issue, smiled and asked, When was the last time you sharpened your axe? Sharpen? I had no time to sharpen my axe. I have been very busy trying to cut as many trees as possible. Jack admitted. The boss explained, Hard work is important but the tools used are just as important. You need to ensure that you are using the right tools and that those tools are maintained to do your job effectively. Hard work without the right tools yields no results. 
In our lives, we often neglect self-care and holistic well-being amid the demands of daily life, similar to forgetting to sharpen an axe. We use our bodies for strenuous tasks, but forget to exercise and eat healthily. We stress over trivial matters and consume harmful content, overlooking the need to nurture our souls through meaningful connections, helping others, meditation, and spiritual engagement with God. The analogy underscores the importance of balancing physical, mental, and spiritual well-being for a more fulfilling and resilient life. How can we expect our body and soul to perform the same each day if we don't take care of them and sharpen them?